Now to the latest developments involving a pair of deadly crashes in Lafayette happening just a few hours and a handful of miles apart. One of those traffic crashes claiming the life of a well-known musician. News 15 Streetcar Francois joins us from LPD headquarters with the latest on the investigations. Police say it was two crashes that happened just hours apart that killed two men, making this the fourth crash that happened in just over a week. The first crash happened here on Pinhook involving two trucks. Police say a silver truck hit a curb while traveling on East Pinhook. After hitting the curb, the driver lost control and swerved into the opposite lanes. Which caused vehicle number two, which was traveling westbound in the inside lane, to strike vehicle number one as it crossed all of the all of the lanes of travel in the 700 block of East Pinhook. The crash killed 36-year-old Chris Stafford, who's in the middle playing the violin in a local band. The second crash happened on the 4,000 block of Ambassador Caffrey, where Ronnie Tronhaw was on a motorcycle heading north when he hit a white Ford that was turning left on Dover Street. When Vehicle one turned, vehicle two struck the passenger side of the vehicle, and um, which caused him to uh, die on scene. Police say Thursday marks the third time in 10 years where two fatal crashes happened on the same day. Police say speed was a factor in most of these fatal wrecks. Speed has been one of the things that we've been looking at with most of our major vehicle crashes, not just fatalities. You know, people don't leave on time. So we encourage people, if you have somewhere to be, try to leave a little earlier. That way you can do the speed limit and not have to rush to where you're going. Police say both drivers who survived the crash have provided a breath test and no one has been charged as the crashes are still under investigation. In Lafayette, I'm Drake Carr Francois for News 15.